Hello and uh, welcome to Home Renovations TV. Um, today or this, this afternoon uh, we're working on this half here, um, getting the tiles down ready for putting the plasterboards on, similar to what we've been doing with the floor here, which I think some of the uh, videos will have been coming out um, by now. Anyway, it has just taken us, or should I say Zoe, uh, about an hour of time just trying to figure out which tiles to use on the top and which to use around the side. I know I've done lots of tiling videos but I think this is quite important because it's been I'm going to be doing it in a different way. Uh, I've just got to remember which tiles it was that Zoe, the other two tiles that Zoe wanted on the top so I can put them all together and then uh, I'm going to bring over my big spirit level and I'll show you the problems that I've got. Hiya, uh, yeah we're back again. I wanted to just show you some of the problems that we've got here. Okay, the first problem here is that when we were putting the flue up the chimney we had to take the fire back out. Um, the half cracked apart. There's not much I can do about that. I could put a bit of mortar in there or, or something, but the tiles are going on top of it anyway, um, so it won't make much of a problem. I'll just put them back in and uh, it should be fine. They're not really a, much of a problem, except for that one. Anyway, the other thing that really surprised me is the fact that this, even though there's a crack here on this half running right down the centre, it's level. I was really surprised by that. Certainly level uh, from side to side. We'll have a look front to back. Yeah, the back could do with coming up just a tad but th that doesn't matter too much um, it's sloping towards the back so actually levels levels are fine but the problems we've got with this is and the reason I wanted to make sure I do a separate uh, standalone video with this is that we're using here a natural product now if I pick up uh, say two random uh, tile so that one there and this one here, okay? They're a natural product and they are different thicknesses, okay? And, and we've got that right the way throughout. The other thing we've got the, the problem with, and it's not really a problem, but it was more about um, how we deal with it is there is such a colour variation in these tiles that's why it took so long for us to work out what we're going to do but anyway my first task because I want these uh, the tiles on the top to overlap uh, any of the tile edges on the face on the two face uh, three faces we need to cut those tiles and put them on first. I'm not using my normal um, adhesive that I would normally use. I'm actually just using a, a cheap um, adhesive that, that um, Zoe managed to find. We'll have a look at it and see if it's of any, any good. It says it's a trade product, but I can't see it being. And it's a, a ready mix. We're using the grout. We are using a grey. Okay. A grey from uh, top tiles. Yes, a grey grout, um, and it's by the brand Bal. B A L Bal. I'm not using a notch trowel for this because of it being a natural product. I'm using an old um, plasterer's float and a 
gauging trowel as my tools, a my trusty old rubber trowel that you've seen me. Yeah. Hammer. Sorry, rubber hammer. A small mini. All right, a mini um, spirit level, and I'm also using a slightly Large. larger uh, spirit, spirit level. level. Okay, because what we want to, to eventually have is the tops of the tiles as level as we possibly can. There may be some little deviations in it, but personally, I think that adds to the uh, to the character of it. But Zoe doesn't think so. So that's where we are. I'm going to get set up in a, in a moment. In fact, I'm pretty much am. We're going to pause the video for a second and move over to the tile saw so I can tell you. Uh... Okay, what I've done here is I've set my folding uh, ladders up um, with the tile saw on the top. And I'm, uh, the brand of it is Tops Tile. I know that's a store, but they also have their own products, and this is one of them. And so far, this has done about three or four bathrooms, a kitchen, a kitchen floor, and the kitchen. It's still going mighty strong. Uh, and the way I've set it up is I've cleaned out all the previous uh, muck from inside, which is in that bucket below, and I've filled it with water or put water in it. Okay. And I've obviously plugged it in down here into an RCD or RCB or whatever it is. Uh, extension lead. I've also placed a bucket underneath because it doesn't matter how we do this we're going to end up with water coming somewhere okay so that's that set up okay so we're almost ready now once I finish my coffee um, to start doing the tiling. Um, hiya uh, I've been experimenting oh shoot experimenting with uh, these tiles and actually this is the second time we've recorded this because I, I did make a, a mistake and I'm going to completely and utterly admit it and uh, I'll show you the mistake I made. Putting the saw through uh, I did it in the wrong place so anyway we've been having problems up until this tile getting it getting the tiles through that sort because of the this uh the guard stand here it seems to get jammed back here for some reason so i came up with a method that seemed to work we looked at doing chalk uh, when we were marking and uh, that wiped off pencil didn't wipe off but as soon as the water got on it you couldn't, you see, couldn't it. see it so what I do is I put the pencil mark at the back okay I can roughly see it coming down here I then use the um, ruby uh, it's an angle grinder, but actually it, it, it's for tiles. It's especially for tiles. Yeah. And I, I have a normal, two other normal angle grinders. This is the the only one that I'm really fussy about who, Does how it. it's used. It only gets used for, for tiles. tiles and nothing else. Okay. Yes, I could cut all the way through with this, but for some reason unbeknownst to me, this uh, wheel has become loose um, and I cannot tighten it up for love nor money. Anyway. Sorry, 
is making a mark on the back of the tile, okay, yeah. like so. What I'm now going to do is bring it over here and take it through. taken a lot longer than I thought it would to um, cut all these tiles and it really was a headache and I've still got more to cut but I can't go cutting any more this evening. Um, because of the time related. Yeah because of the time. So I'm just now, the way I'm doing this because this, this half is so uneven is I'm literally caking the back of the tile in it with a ready mix with a ready mix um, what and then I'm just you've never offering, used before huh? yeah offering it up pushing it in place and it seems to work that way yeah okay offering it up putting it in place then i'm going to get the next tile and do the same And I'm just using a gauge trowel to do this. I'm probably going to get, uh, you know, slated for doing it this way. But when you're dealing with uneven surfaces, it's, in all honesty, easier to slap, sorry, to put the adhesive on the back of the tile and then just bed the tile in. going to put this one in and I'll put it in upside down. It's <laughs> fine. Flip it over. It's not this time. Okay. Put my spaces in. Tell you what a difference it makes by putting these towels on the off into it. Yeah, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. Just taking a tile, uh, sorry, a little wedge and bringing this tile here up to the top. It's not much of a gap down the bottom, but there's, there is a tiny gap. There we go. And that's just gonna hold it up there until it dries, it dries making sure that, uh, you know, I've got a gap hip level at the top here. Okay, and bringing this thing down. making sure that the tiles are as even as you can get them. 
it's not always possible to get them perfectly even here, but you're dealing with an actual product here. Okay, and then we'll move on to the next one. Do you want to move that adhesive bucket onto the hot R so they can see what you're doing? Yep. I've never ever used a ready mix before, so I, I honestly cannot tell you how good it is or how how good this product is or whether or not it works. So uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. I'll be setting these tonight and allowing these to go off uh, before laying. we then do the tops. The reason for that is in case I haven't quite cut these properly I can come back and just grind off um, the tops. I'm sure I have, I just want to be on the safe side. Ruby. Excuse the dog. But the siren went off, she thinks she heard. Not here darling, nobody here. Just me, you and daddy and Missy wherever she is. Yeah, girl's not with us this evening. No, that are, they're out of friends, aren't they? Yeah. Well, they can get out. Yeah. Well, I may as well let them have some fun, you know, whilst they can. Because I've got a feeling, you know, again, it's the, is it the 24th today? 25th yes. of September. Yeah. Okay. I'm on my own this morning. Uh, Zoe's not feeling too well. She wasn't well yesterday, actually. And uh, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because I ended up having to look after her. Uh, I'll go into her story um, a bit later in, an, in another video. Um, but this morning I've got to get on with this uh, half just behind me um, and get that finished. So I know it's going to be a bit noisy and I shouldn't really make too much noise while Zoe's um, ill but you know I must get on with it because uh, you know we're going to be getting plaster up on these walls fairly soon. Uh, or certainly plasterboard anyway, and I haven't got time to be um, messing about with it. So, uh, yeah, we'll be getting on with that in a moment, so uh, I'll speak to you in a bit. I'm just making myself a coffee, okay? Okay, so now with the uh, coffee made, um, the deal is that uh, I get this uh, half done today. Um, or uh, It's not a deal, it's a deal with myself. I get this half done today and a piece out in the hallway done um, of the flooring and then I'm going to spend um, today and tomorrow doing some more editing um, so that there's more videos ready to come up to you. Um, I'm, I'm thinking at the moment about doing a um, tip Saturday which will be um, lots of different tips um, and tricks um, and they will be five to ten minutes uh, videos. Um, can you leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about that? Do you feel that that's a, a good idea or, or is it not something that you guys are interested in and you're more interested in seeing the full job through? Okay, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish this coffee <laughs> again and uh, we'll be getting on with uh, uh, the rest of uh, uh, the half. Okay, and I've got to find a place to put you because Zoe's not around, so uh, yeah, I've had to be a bit innovative. <laughs> I've 
done there is uh, just cut the first section of tile for going around this fireplace. Okay, so it needs to go over a bit more. Where's that tile moved? No, it hasn't. Okay, so I need to cut a little bit more off by the looks of it. I always like to cut um, less off than what, what I actually think needs to come off. Um, I can always cut more off, I can never cut less. piece off and then we'll see if it fits again. This corner here, certainly. Still a little more to come off. It's just little fiddling about like this uh, that takes some time. So I think what I'm going to do is put you on time lapse whilst I uh, sort this out and then I'll bring you back. Um, took quite a while to 
to cut them all and get them ready. I know there was only three tiles, but they were quite, quite complicated cuts. Um, and you'll have probably seen as part of the time lapse the dust that I just created. And that was just getting uh, any high spots in the half out. Uh, there was a couple I didn't quite like buzzed. Uh, I was sitting uh, the tiles on there. I mean, I know, you know, without the adhesive, you're never going to get them to sit flat. But there was just slightly too much of a high spot. And I needed just to grind uh, some of the uh, uh, top away or surface away from just underneath the uh, where the ash pan uh, will sit. Just so that uh, um, the front guard will sit a bit nicer on there. So, uh, yeah, we've done that. I'm just waiting now for the uh, dust to settle and you can probably st still see it working its way out through the house. So yeah, once that's done, I'm going to give it a good hoover and uh, we'll be getting on with uh, putting down the uh, tile and uh, we'll be bringing you back then. Okay, so I'm going to sit down, have a, a, a nice cake and uh, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, and today's cake is a lemon drizzle, is it? Yeah, lemon drizzle from a uh, 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 Mr. Kipling. So uh, yeah. <sighs> right. As I said, I ground off uh, all this down here, um, and you probably noticed or probably can't see very well, but I've had a good tidy up down here. So what I'm trying to do is get this done uh, before lunch um, then I'm going to have some lunch and then uh, move on to the next job. So uh, yeah, we're going to start laying and I'm starting in the centre because these two are the most important tiles uh, for the simple reason if I don't get these in the right place, um, it, A, it won't look right with the uh, fireplace or the um, log burner. Uh, which happens to be a Park Cray uh, 111 and I believe that this particular fire is from the 1970s stroke 80s. Um, it's an old one and we're having problems getting parts for it. Um, we may well have to get them fabricated but it works perfectly. It's got a back boiler on it so you know, during the winter, that will be um, heating all our hot water. Um, and I might well keep it ticking over during the summer just to do that as well. Um, there is no gas in this house, as I've probably mentioned before. But anyway, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about that later on. Look back to this. So I have my two tiles here and... Uh, I've also got my level here, which is going to help me get the tile um, level and flat with the others. Now, there's no guarantee that I'm going to get every single tile uh, flat and level because there are variations in the thicknesses of the tiles. Um, that's just the nature of, you know, this product. And, and I think, to be honest, because, you know, it's a natural product, it adds to that uh, the character. So what I'm doing here is putting a couple of dollars down on the half. Okay. And then what I'm doing is on the back of the tile, I'm just putting some mud as well. So I'm buttering the back of the tile. I don't have to do this um, really with, with slate because um, it's actually not too bad. But, you know, I prefer to do that. And then what I'm going to do is place it onto uh, the dollops or the, and just push it down they'll spread but it just gives me that little extra 
to help me get the uh, tile level. Okay, so that side there just needs to come down a tad. That's perfectly level there. And the front here just needs to come down a tad. Okay, so that's now the first tile in place, nice and level. I might have to pull it out slightly when I get this front tile in, so we're going to do that now. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, just a bit, mate. And we're going to do the same method here. Yeah, that way. Sorry, I'm having to look at uh, the tiles to make sure that I get the uh, orientation the same, the right way, the the way that Zoe uh, wants the tile. And you can probably hear her in the background. She's decided that uh, actually she will get up. Um, I didn't really want her to, not because, you know, for, for any reason, but just, just because I know that she's not feeling um, very well. But she feels that if I'm working, then, then she should as well. center with um, the, not with the half, but with uh, the fire itself. Okay, so we're going to move on now to this side, closest to you. So we have now uh, finished, or I have now finished, the uh, laying of the tiles on the half. And actually, I really quite like it. Um, but that's me blowing my own trumpet. It took a bit. I know um, the dollops are not the conventional way to lay tiles. But, you know, with, with the levels being out on the uh, half itself, and the fact that uh, none of the tiles are the same uh, thickness, I thought it was about the best way to deal with it. Um, I ummed and ahed about it. I mean, even the sizes of the tiles are different. Um, so, yeah. So there you go. There's, there's uh, the finished... Uh, I, I not finished sorry I've got to seal them and grout them um, but I can't seal them at the moment because I've just laid them I'm going to leave them um, overnight prob prob probably until about next week um, before I get around to sealing them um, I'll do a video about that as well 
and the uh, grouting. So this will be a two part um, series. Then we've got to finish that off, we've got a plasterboard, uh, the chimney breast, and then Zoe has chosen um, a tile which will um, go the entire way up the chimney breast on all three sides. So, yeah, there we are, and I hope you uh, enjoyed watching uh, this little video and. Uh, We'll be on to the next bit in a bit. So, yeah, I will see you uh, next time. Uh, remember, stay safe. If you can, why not give it a go? I'm sure you can, because if I can, anybody can. Ta-da for now. Bye-bye.